My name is Lewis Will. I'm a Thai boxer out of Aberdeen Fitness Combat Centre. Um, a fight professional. I've had seven fights, I've had six wins and one loss in the sport. Um, I train full time and I work full time out of the Aberdeen Fitness and Combat Centre. See, some people don't just say I don't have a clue what it is really. Like, I've spoken to a lot of people who have no clue what Thai boxing is. And like I never knew what it was before I started. Like I only started, but one of my pals in school, he was saying that he'd done it. And I was like, fuck Thai boxing, that sounds cool. And I had no clue what it was. And then I ended up searching up in the combat centre and just coming just because he said he'd done it and he was lying. He was taking the piss out. <laughs> That's the only reason I started. He was lying about uh, doing Thai boxing. So I was like, oh, I want to do this Thai boxing as well. Uh. Um, my job is um, I'm the head coach for the kids' fight team at the combat centre. So I do all the kids' classes and like teach all like so if any of the kids are fighting, I'll take them for pads and that whole pads and get them ready for their fights. And um, I'm also a personal trainer, so I do all like fitness PTs like pads and stuff for everybody wanting to learn how to tie box. What made you decide to go from working and then training to just being in the gym full time? I'd done a four year apprenticeship and I was just, it was coming near the end, I just wasn't something I was wanting to stick to. And I was training that much, I was just, it was always like something I was just wanting to just give it all, kind of like leave work and just give it all to Thai boxing. Like, so I'd done my four years um, apprenticeship, finished that, and then as soon as it hit the last month, I just finished it and just came here. Like, best choice I've ever made, like uh, 100%. <laughs> How did your first fight come about and how did it go? Um, I got offered a fight on a MTB show four years ago. Um, Keith, the head coach Keith messaged me just to say he'd an opponent in four fights. I think he had four fights, four wins and three losses. But my coach, Owen at the time, he said it was like nobody. He said he'd watch the boy and it'd be all right and just go in and just fight him, Ken. Uh, so I got that and won on points. A close fight, it was just like a, like a close first fight. Uh, it was good. What experience did you take away from your first fight? I was just hungry just to get back and again like first one like you can't really remember much from the first fight you just go in and you just you're, you're at like um autopilot yeah autopilot you just go straight and just fight and you're, you it's over before you started can and then just get right back in for a second one and then you start enjoying it what's like your favorite thing about Muay Thai um probably just the gym but just being in the gym it keeps you healthy healthy minded being in the gym all the time like it's better than like like the same old life nine to five get home and sit and do nothing can like it's better being here all the time everybody's like happy and it's just you meet some new fans, not just a gym in general, like yeah. Normally, like you get a choice to go professional or you stay B class. It's like um, it's not really professional. It's A class, B class, or C class. So you get N class. N class is like novice shin pads. C class is like what your normal first fight would go into. And B class is a bit advanced. And A class is like a top you can get. Um, there was a pull out on the show. It was the first show back in the UK after the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, and then Keith got a message asking they were needing a 65 kilo. So I just jump in like 20 days out. And then my op the opponent I was supposed to be fighting, he pulled out. So then I had to take someone else in, so I got someone else, so it was heaps of fucking pull-outs, but and I got a fight in the end of it, like, so it was good, it was three, three three-minute rounds, A-class rules, so kicks, knees to the head, elbows to the head, everything's go, cool, yeah, yeah. The elbow. Oh, was that a slip or a knockdown? It was a knockdown, looks like a cut as well, Pete. On early, looking to intimidate with those elbows. Yeah. knew that, that aggressive energy that he brought. Yeah, straight in, lovely right hand from Will Lesh. Slip from passing there. Will seems to have calmed down a little bit now. Hope spoke too soon. Long knee and elbow from Will there. Another elbow. And that pace down. Teep from P Will. He's looking for that elbow again. Oh, big elbow from Will there. That was a big Another count. Down. Back to it. Low kick from Patterson, followed with a body kick from Will. Good knee there from Pat uh, Will. Oh, that caught him hard, that caught yeah. him, this is squared up the throw. Very low, I think that's a referee called it off. And your winner by KO in the red corner, Lewis Will.
where do you see yourself with it in five years? Five years, yeah. I'll hopefully, definitely be a UK top ten in five year. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, just like it, it's hard. Like my weight, like the weight I'm in is now sixty three point five. is hard. Like, it's a hard division. You have to get into break into. Like, you just need experience. Not a lot of the guys are experienced. So I think I just need to build up my experience. And just see what it takes. I'll see myself in here 10, 20 years, I'll still be here like PT and coaching in the gym, like maybe not fighting in 20 years time, 10 years time, whatever, but I'm still coaching, like yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll ever give it up, like, like it's not, like you know, I wouldn't be here for ages, like teaching the kids, bring them to a high level, I compete myself, fight until a high level, I fight in Thailand, yeah, I'd love to fight in the stadiums as well, like that's something I'd aim for, like. Who do you credit a lot of your success to? Um, just the guys in the gym, everybody in the gym, eh? like Pete, Keith, Dan, like they do a lot of like work for you, like like everybody as a whole, it's hard to like really say one person, like same with Chris Farman, the boss man of the gym, he does heaps for everybody in the gym, Can like all the fighters and that, like he always helps shoot if you need stuff and that, always make sure you're looked after, like everybody in the gym as a whole, like it's not just one person, like Pete, he does, Pete does heaps for me, like he's always in every morning holding pads, and even like some days you're coming in and you're like, so you're ill where you can't like you just can't be fucked. He's like still there pushing you all the time. Can it's like there's heaps of people that do that as well. Even like the general people that come in and ask like how are you getting on, how is the training, that can it boost you up. Yeah, good. Yeah, I always feel good for every fight. Like I always train hard, so I always like mentally. I always say like, if I train as hard as I can, this guy can't be training harder. There's no possible way he can be training harder than me. And hard work beats talent. So, can like I'm always strong-minded on that. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Like just going and fucking wrecking, man.